All right, guys, so I'm back in the gym. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, um, but I've just been really busy. So unfortunately, I've not had time to do the Q&A and things that I was hoping to do. Um, so what I'm going to say, to be honest with you guys, is let's go back to the old system. If you've got a question, comment down below. If I have a good answer for it, then I'll be sure to respond to you. Uh, that just seemed to work easier. You know, I had big plans because I saw other YouTubers do Q&As and things, and I was like, oh, that could be cool. And it would be, but honestly, I can't devote that amount of time to doing big, long Q&As um, as well. My wisdom isn't infinite, you know? <laughs> I don't have answers to all your questions. I only know certain things. Um, but if I can help you, I will. But I don't want to give you an answer that I'm not happy with because I know it won't be in your best interest. Um, that being said, where have I been for the past few months? Well, if you remember in the last video, I think I was talking about how I was going on a high intensity training program. This involves very low frequency, once a week, even less. In fact, I was going 11 days between workouts sometimes, and maybe even more, but uh, very, low free, very low volume, sorry, as well. One set, an exercise, a couple of compounds, one or two isolations in there, and I was doing... Uh, not heavy weights, so say on the chin up and the dips, I was just doing body weight uh, or just like five kilos added or something like that. Um, but I was doing a really, really slow cadence and time under tension, not locking out. Makes exercise really difficult, uh, but I got really good results from doing that actually. I've increased my muscle size and I've logged this all in an Excel spreadsheet, which I'm going to share with you guys when I get around to making that video. Um, so really interesting there because I know a few of you are interested in the high intensity style of training. Definitely a great thing to do. I love to do it from time to time as well. But I also love to train six days a week. I also love to train three days a week. I just like to mix and match. Um, you know, it just depends how my life is going, how much free time I have, what my energy is feeling like, and you know, a whole host of other factors. But I like to explore all different ends of the spectrum. And there's value to be had in a lot of these different ones. Some people would say there's only one absolute theory of training. High intensity training people are very fond of that. Um, and I, I can see how they get very wrapped up in that. And I understand that. I understand it's a very good way of getting results, high intensity training. Um, so I'm not bashing it. But I have also got results training, good results at that. Training six days a week, three days a week, things like that. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, what I'm going to share with you in this video at the end is a few training clips of the first day um, of a new training program. It's going to be six days a week and very, very similar to what you've seen me do uh, last year, uh, which was the squat every day, and I'm doing, going to do a press every day and a pull every day, and deadlift here and there once or twice a week perhaps, but that's not the main focus of the program. The plans for this program are to exceed my all-time best numbers, some of the video clips may be on my YouTube channel, some may not, can't remember. Um, so we're going to focus, as I said, on the squat, the dip, and the chin up. So on the squat, I want to get 207.5 kilos, and then beyond that, that's my best lift, 107.5 for a single. Uh, 50 kilo chin up for a single is my best, so I want to get above that, obviously. And I think I was just shy of a three plate dip, so I didn't quite hit that, I was 57.5 kilos maybe for single, so I want to get above that as well. Um, yeah, so then the goals of the program, and you'll see in this clip, I'm only squatting 80 kilo paw squat, uh, 30 kilo chin, 40 kilo dip, not impressive, um, but just my first day, just easing into it, and as the days go on, you'll see them weights build back up very, very fast, um, and then I'll get to where I was before, hopefully it won't take too long to get there, and then we'll start hitting some proper PRs, and that's when the real fun begins. We're going to be updating you guys weekly. I'm going to be on it for this training cycle to show you how six days a week training can work really well. But also at the same time, I'm going to be making a high quality video where I'm going to show you how training once a week can also have good results. So, you know, you often don't see a lot of people talking about this. You're often very like, no, once a week is the way to go. No, six times a week is the way to go. But hey, you know, honestly, me sharing my experience there, I've had great results with all different ends of the spectrum. Just depends how you program it. Um, okay, so I think I've addressed everything in this video. Um, feels good to get in front of the camera and connect with you guys again. Uh, but um, yeah, if you've got any comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you. Uh, 
if I have something good to say to you, comment, you know. Um, if I don't feel like I have a suitable answer, I'll just tell you that. Um, because, you know, like I said, I was going to do the Q&A, uh, but it's just not happened. I just don't think I'm going to get the time. So we'll just do the old system. Comment down below and I'll give you an answer. Um, but without further ado, I think it's time to move on to the training clips. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking now uh, what I've said about the high intensity training once a week or less. Probably going to stir, stir up a few people. Uh, like I said, listen, I'm not dogmatic about this, so don't try and argue with me about how it doesn't work. I know it works. I've run it for months at a time. It works, okay? I'm not going to argue about which system's better for what or whatever, because I honestly don't care. But, you know, um, it is what it is. I will say this. If you are going to train and attempt to do a very low frequency, low volume program, you need to know how to train to failure. True failure, all out. It's extremely painful. It's extremely uncomfortable. Um, but it, you will make good results if you can push yourself far enough that is required. It's a lot easier doing this stuff with, uh, that you're going to see in the clip, singles, triples, even though it's heavy weight. Um, you know, obviously, it can get very difficult in its own respect, but some people would argue it is easier than the absolute burn you get from really slow cadence sets. Uh, you know, we could argue about that all day, okay? Both is an exquisite type of pain, but to be honest, the training is fairly very low frequency, very low volume is probably the most brutal that I've tried and I've experienced. But then again, I've never got up to anything really heavy in a single, so I can't really talk. Uh, but yeah, anyway, enjoy the clips, and probably in about a week or so, I'll give you an update on this training program, so you can, and you'll probably see a lot of fast progress, you know, my chin getting back up there into the two plate thing, my dip getting back up there into the 50 kilo, and squat getting back to the two plate mark, you know. So it's gonna be a lot of exciting progress happening. Um, but yeah, anyway, hope you've all been well over the past few months. Apologies again for not being uh, active on my YouTube channel, but I'm back now. Enjoy the clips. All right, so first up we have the squat. Now I'm really happy with how this is looking and how my strength feels, considering I've not done it for a little while. Um, definitely get back up to that two plates and beyond very, very quickly. Um, but yeah, it felt good. Felt very comfortable pausing at the bottom. And I'm happy with how my technique looks. Um, obviously, it'll get refined a little bit as I start practicing the skill more and more again. Um, but overall, very happy with that. Now, uh, this is just how the physique's looking. Obviously, as you can tell, uh, you know, I've not been letting myself go in the gym. I have been training, um, even though it's been very infrequently, very low volume, you know, like once a week or less, one set per exercise, few exercises. Um, my muscle mass has actually increased. Um, so there you go. Um, but anyway, I just ignore my terrible dance moves. I've just got some old school funk in the background. I know some people like Metallica and Pantera and all that for, you know, getting angry and stuff. But for me, honestly, it's the old school funk. You know, I find I'm more focused and I'm stronger when I'm listening to that. So it is what it is. No, it's a bit out there, but you know, I'm just being real on this channel. I'm not trying to put on a false persona or something because I know a lot of people, they have really serious lifting channels and I'm like, no way do you go around the gym that serious doing your stuff, you know. You gotta relax, chill out, get a good vibe going and just enjoy the, the movements, you know. Obviously there is a time and a place for anger and getting angry and stuff, but you know, I just generally perform better, you know, just in a nice kind of old school funk environment. <laughs> what can I say? Um, and here's the chin up here, 31.5 kg, no problem there. We'll get it up to two plates, uh, two and a half plates and so forth in no time at all. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed them. A few training clips there. Um, I'm going to hit you up with another video in a week or so, uh, documenting the progress and you'll see a lot of, um, you know, a lot of progress in them lifts. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you later.